It's the beginning of September, and you know what that means. It's fall! <laughs> it's fall. So, if you want to see how I got this super smoky, red, sultry fall look, just keep on watching. Since it is the beginning of fall and I am so ready for it, I decided to do a pretty basic eye look with you today, but it comes out really bold and smoky and super fall ready. So obviously I wear a lot of reds, browns, kind of fall colors in the fall. And so I think this goes really well with that and let's get started, it's pretty simple. So today we're gonna start with mostly ColourPop pressed eyeshadows. They're very inexpensive, you buy them individually and then you can just put them in a magnetic palette like this one. So we're gonna start with this pinky mauve color and I'm just gonna put that all in my crease. I did start by priming my eyelids with some concealer but I did not set it. So I just put the concealer on my eyes, blended it out and I didn't put any powders on top of it. What that's gonna do for this look is make sure that that first color we put down, this pink, is extra pigmented and it's going to stick to it really well. It's okay if this look gets a little bit sloppy. It's all about being smoky and blended out, so you don't have to be super precise with it. Then I'm gonna go back in with this shade, and I believe this shade is called Stay Golden, and the only reason I know that is because I'm pretty sure this is my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow that they make. I just love this red tone. It's it's kind of neutral and it just, it looks beautiful on everyone that I've ever seen wear it. So I'm gonna take that color and I just took a big fluffy blending brush. I'm just patting it in, getting a little of that pigment off my brush and then I'm going in and putting this over not only my entire lid but also up into the crease. You could definitely wear this for a night out but honestly in the fall everything's so smoky and I feel like people are definitely more okay with kind of a smoldering eye. So just try it. If you're a little afraid to do it, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Like you hate your eye look halfway through the day? It's one day. So you might as well try it, see if you like it, and maybe you'll end up feeling a little more bold. I know that if I definitely have a bold eye look on, I'm, I feel myself a little bit more. I, I get into it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I had the pink on, but I'm not gonna put any more additional product. I'm just gonna blend it out up here at my brow bone so we don't have any harsh lines from where that red was. Okay, so you can tell, super smoky. I'm actually gonna zoom you in. So you can tell, pretty smoky. I may go back in actually with another layer of that red because it can blend out a little bit. These are great shadows, but any shadow, if you just blend, 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 it's, it's gonna lose a little bit of pigment. So you can always go back in and add another light layer. Here we go, that's perfect, that's exactly what I want. Then I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. It's very similar to the other two that I had, but a little smaller. And I'm gonna go in with this dark maroon brown shade. Now, when you get into these really dark shades, I know we're going for bold and smoky, but this can be too much very quickly, especially if you're not quite sure how smoky you want it to be. So when you go in with these lighter colors, make sure you just, or these darker colors rather, make sure you just really tap off your brush. And lightly, I mean, lightest hand I possibly can, I'm gonna go into the crease with that smoky brown. You can kind of tell it's pretty smoky. We could probably do with a little bit more, even a little darker. And what I'm gonna do now, I have it in my crease, but I'm gonna take that same blending brush that I was putting that darker shade on, and I'm gonna move it to just the outside of my lid as well. Probably the last third, the outside third. I really like it. Okay, so now that we have the darker brown blended out, I'm gonna go back in once again with that red brush. I will go in with the lightest shade, then get a little bit darker, then get a little bit darker, and between each one, I go back up through the shades. So since I just did the darker one, I'm gonna take the middle shade, blend that out, then I'm gonna take the lightest shade and blend that out. 
Okay, so we're looking super smoky. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of shimmer. This one right here. I'm gonna take that on a flat, just a packer brush. Spray it with a little setting spray and go in. I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. I always make the cutest faces when I'm blending out eyeshadow. Okay, so that just gave us a little bit of shimmer. I think it did a really good job of tying in the colors, but also just giving us a little bit of glam. So if you wanted to go a little bit extra, you could put like some golden glitter or something here in your eye, um, in your inner corner. I do that for a lot of my looks, but I'm not gonna do that today. I just wanna leave this pretty simple. So I'm gonna go in with a flatter, stiffer blending brush. I'm gonna take that red color, but only on one half. I don't know if you can see that, just the top. Just the top of the brush has color on it. And then I'm gonna take that on my under eye. The good thing about this is I have not done my foundation yet, so it looks like a lot right now, but once I get that concealer mixed in, we're gonna have to go back in. So let's start with that. Let's start on the face. I am going to take the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Hydrating Tint. It moisturizes and plumps for 24 hours. Anyway, this is in Classic Ivory. It is almost a little bit too yellow for me, but pretty much every foundation is, so that's okay. Not a huge fan of this packaging. I don't get the point of it for a foundation, and I, I feel like... If anything, all it does is put germs back into the bottle off of your face. So anyway, it's also really hard to judge how much you're putting on your face. So not a huge fan of the packaging, but I do love the foundation. So I'm gonna just blend that out. Make sure you're careful around where your eyeshadow is. So this foundation doesn't have a super matte finish, but it doesn't have a lot of sheen to it. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. So it just gives you a healthy glow. Put some down my neck because we don't match and we're looking orange. Yeah, a little tip and trick for those of you who didn't learn this in junior high like I did being super pale. Just blend it down your neck if it's not a perfect match. And then once it blends into your neck, look, you can really not tell as much. Just make sure there's no harsh line right here. Okay, I'm gonna take some concealer. So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I use this almost every time I wear foundation. And I am just putting it, sorry if I keep looking away, I'm trying to make sure I'm still in focus. <laughs> Just gonna put that all over my face in the places that I wanna be highlighted. And this is the time with your concealer, if you did a little bit of an oopsie or your eyeshadow got a little bit out of hand, you can go in with this concealer and kind of carve it up if you want it to be more of a sharp line. And I'm just gonna go in with the RCMA Loose Setting Powder. I have it in a different packaging, but it comes in like a like a weird, it looks like a spice pa package. Like, you know when you go and you buy like garlic powder at the store, that's what it looks like. And I'm not super into it. So I put it into this container so it's easier for me to get it on my sponge. Once I've gotten that, just in the areas where I had concealer, I'll go back in with a big fluffy brush and put it all over my face. Now, this can give a little bit of a flashback. So if you're going to have like 
for instance, professional photography done, I don't necessarily recommend this powder, but it is super smoothing and really pretty and it does lock in my makeup all day. So if you're just using it for an everyday thing or even an event where maybe there's not gonna be any photography, that's fine as well. Um, but I, I don't recommend using it if you're gonna have a lot of flash photography on you. And I'm not gonna do any bronzer today. I know that's like probably a cardinal sin amongst a lot of the YouTubers out there, but I don't wear bronzer every day. Mind you, I am pretty pale. Sometimes bronzer can be a little much on my skin. Um, it really just depends, but it's not summer anymore, so I don't necessarily need that super bronzy look unless you just want to. But I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Feisty Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Feisty is the shade, and it's just kind of like a like a mauve color. You can tell I've already hit pan on it, but it's really pretty. I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. We don't wanna overpower the eyeshadow because it's a lot already, so we don't need it to be too much. Let's go ahead and get a highlighter going. I'm gonna take this ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek. If you watched my last video, you saw me trying this out for the first time. I've used it a few more times and it's definitely easier if you put less on your brush. So that's just kind of a tip and trick that I've learned since last time I saw you. And make sure, just put a little on your brush and then take a little more time blending it in rather than just putting a lot on your brush and just slapping it all over your face. Spend a little time making sure it's where you want it. And it's a really, really pretty color. Look how shimmery it is, so pretty. I'm gonna go in with just another blending brush and put some of that highlighter right on my brow bone. And then I'm gonna take my finger, my pinky finger, and I'm gonna pop it right on the inner corner of my eye. This is a nice shade because it goes with pretty much every color. It's just kind of a neutral nude color and it really looks beautiful with every eye look that I've popped this on the inner corner for. So I don't know if you can tell, but I think it looks really nice. And since we still have this underneath um, looking pretty smoky, I think we're pretty set on that, but I am gonna go back out and blend. I'm just gonna take a pencil brush. I'm gonna go in with that pink color, since we already have the red, and I'm gonna blend it out. Good, looking smoky. Now let's take a little bit of brow gel and just make the brows lay down where we want them. You can take an eyebrow pencil, fill them in a little bit, but I'm really not feeling like putting that much effort into my eyebrows today, so that's what we're gonna do. And then all I'm really gonna do for the rest of my eyes is take a little bit of mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact. I've been using it a lot because it's really beautiful. And I'm gonna put several coats on my lashes here because we want them to look really black and smoky. I didn't even add any eyeliner to this look. I mean, it's it's that easy. You can add the eyeliner if you want that extra little bit of smoke. Like if you maybe wanted to put some black eyeliner in your waterline or something like that. But honestly, just for an everyday look, I don't really feel like I need that. If I was gonna go out, maybe. Okay, little tip and trick about if you get mascara on your face, especially a lot like I just did. Can you see it? Leave it, let it dry, and then swipe it away with your fingernail rather than trying to get it while it's wet and then it will just smear all over everything. So we're gonna leave it for now and I am going to go in with a lip color. Which one? I don't know yet. I think this one. Once again, ColourPop from my last video. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely try it out. But this is the Tiana lip color from ColourPop. That is a really pretty color. 
You do not have to go with an intense dark lip color with this eye look since you do have so much going on in the eyes. But I do recommend it if you're really feeling smoky, really wanting to get sultry, wanting to get fall, wanting to get crazy, definitely recommend that. Okay everyone, well this is the final look and I really love it. I love this fall sultry vibes, vampire, you know, leaves are falling, bonfires, wearing sweaters, wearing scarves. This is my vibe, I live for this. So. If you want to see some more fall looks, I'm definitely going to be doing some more in the future, but I definitely enjoyed spending time with you today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!